Doubles is a simple game. Get the return serve away from that person and try to do the same thing over and over again. So let's get return and serve patterns. The key to good doubles is to get the ball away from that person, have a pattern so your partner knows what you're going to do, and then so you do it the same way and get better at it so that you won't miss that shot. If you hit cross court all the time, the ball will cross court all the time. If there's any kind of decision to be made, like you got to choose between cross court down the line, how can you make yourself better at hitting cross court? Right? It's just a matter of practicing. You always got to hit cross court. Simple. Away from that person. This is a basic block pattern. I'm just going to block the ball with my racket, moving my byway forward. I'm going to have a deep volley. I'm going to close in and hit an angle volley. Simple pattern. Return a serve, cross court, deep volley, cross court, short angle volley as I get closer to the net. Notice the preparation. I do this racket thing where I'll bring racket down like that to remind myself to keep the racket loose. Then I split and go into the court. So you got to have these little physical cues to keep yourself prepared to make the shot. I bring it down to keep grinding myself to keep the wrist loose and keep the racket close to my body. Hit the return, close in. As I hit the ball, watch me move in. I get the weight going forward. I'm going to split right when they hit the ball. There's my split. Where am I making impact? When he hits the ball, when he hits the ball, where am I? I'm right by the surface line. Go deep. Press him. Notice I go deep, 400 to the middle volley. I go deep, I don't change the angle of the ball, the ball goes back the way it came. I go deep, high clearance of the net, hard to miss this volley. Don't change direction. Then I follow it in, and that's the key point right there. I make this volley, look where I am to the net. Watch my follow through. I am on top of the net. I accept we get a better angle. I get the weight going forward. The key is to make sure as you move in, that you keep the racket in front of your body. The racket doesn't get too far behind you. And you stay within the angle. If I go down the line, he might get the ball in play. And then he might hit past me down the line. But if I go cross-court angle away from everyone, very difficult for them to get the ball. And the key was to move in and get a better angle. This is a mindless combo. You're going to return cross court, come in, hit deep volley, hit short angle. Do it over and over again. Now we use a slice also, but the key is to place it firmly. And I'm not watching my opponent come in, I'm just hitting a slice. I'm watching the ball, taking control of what's on my side of the court. Your opponent might try to distract you. It's very important you watch the ball and you focus on what's on your side of the court. Notice the routine, everything stays the same. Watch my racket going down. Split. There's my split coming in. He's coming in also, but I decided to go slice before he came in. Same routine. All you gotta do is hit it firm and get low and away from that person and away. And that's the two keys to this. I step in, I get a better angle, my body is coming forward, I cut angle, it comes off a lot better than I intended it to, but the intention was, it's all about the angle of attack. Where he is, and where I'm aiming, his own speed takes him out of the position on the point. If he's at that service line, he can't reach that ball because the angle is too far away from him. Because I closed in, I have a bare short angle shot past him, his speed betrays him in his opposition. But it's a, it's a hard shot for me to hit. I'm aiming where a service line meets a single sideline. He's playing percentages. The odds of me hitting that shot are very low. But in this slice, it will have gone to low, it will be a low volley. It would have been tough for him to hit. Those are the keys. Always aim the same place. On the return, and you get better at it. I'm just aiming at single sideline and service line where that place meets.
have the same return ritual again as before. I step in. I step in right there. I hit the slice. I come in behind the ball. Same shot, moving in as before. Where am I when he makes impact with the ball? Because he doesn't come to the net, I can actually get closer to the net. So when your point doesn't come to the net, you try to get as close to the net as possible, watching for a lob. That's a deep slice. I come in behind the ball. Look how far in I am. I'm by a service line array. My partner has moved in also, shutting down to the alley. I will take the middle ball or the short angle. I'm also watching for for the lob. As he hits the ball, he hits a pretty solid ball actually. Since I'm so far in, I decide to go down the line. I'm going to hit the volley and move in. The point doesn't end there. I hit the volley, I'm already ready for the next ball. Look where my racket is. I'm going to hit the volley like a boxer and my racket will stay in front of me. And I'm ready for the next shot. See the racket stay on front and I move in. That's the key. Short follow through. I get in the habit of hitting away from people because then I just have to hit the ball firm. I don't have to hit it hard, just hit it firm. Each return is the same. One was a top spin, the other two were slices, but I'm going to close in. I'm going to keep moving forward. They will be aimed cross court away from that person. Even if that net person were to poach, those three returns would be very difficult to get as a poach. And if they got to it, that'd be a great shot by them. Playing the percentages that they won't get that ball because it's a very firm return. success is to play a pattern so you get better at it as time goes by that's what you want to do this book keeps tense very simple